This is the eldest daughter of Rhonda and Archie. Uh, and uh, she, they were married. I went back and looked it up, and it was March 21 of 2004. It's hard to believe it was so long ago. You're an old married couple. <laughs> just I didn't realize it had been that many years ago. And just this past September 26, 2008, God bless this precious family with a beautiful baby boy. Mawson is named after who? Uh, the name I heard when I was in it's a beautiful, beautiful name, and what a beautiful child God has given you. We are so happy for you. Some of you know that uh, David and uh, Alyssa are down in where David is attending medical school, and that is where uh, Mawson was born just a few months back, three months ago yesterday. So it's a great honor that you're here today. You know, we have just celebrated the birth of another boy. And that boy, of course, was Jesus Christ. And while we don't talk a lot about it, not that long after he was born, Mary and Joseph brought their son to the house of God. And there he was dedicated. So it's so appropriate that at this wonderful Christmas season, you bring your beautiful boy to be dedicated to Jesus Christ. Uh, Jesus loves children. He loves them so much that he allowed them to do something that his followers weren't sure about. He allowed them to climb on his lap and to play right by his side. And he loved to bless the children. Jesus was a man who knew and said that the kingdom of heaven would be made up of the traits that a lot of children have. Innocence, vulnerability, no fear as long as they're in the hands of father and mother. Those are traits that God wants us to have and exemplify as we journey knowing that we're in God's hands too. So we are so glad and honored that you're having your precious son dedicated. The Bible says that Jesus grew, you know this text, in wisdom, stature, and in favor with God and man. And uh, Alyssa and David, we pray that God will bless, and we believe he will bless, your son in the same way. May he grow even as Jesus grew, because both had the same Father. And may he pour out upon you and Mawson his abundant grace and blessing. So I have two specific questions to ask you. Number one, to come forward recognizing the great privilege and joy, but also the immense responsibility that now you have as parents. Knowing that, do you now present Mawson in dedication to God, seeking his special blessing and guidance? Thank you. The second question, do you also in this place that is made special and sacred, because God has come to meet with us here, do you also in this place covenant that through the grace and strength of Jesus Christ, because that's the only way it's done, that you as parents will seek by your words, your living instruction, and by your example to help Boston to know Jesus as his Savior, to help him to love the Lord God and love his neighbor as himself and to be a faithful disciple of Jesus Christ. Are you willing to do that? Amen. Thank you. I uh, also just like, I always like, to remind our church that we have a small part to play 
we know that this precious couple is doing what a lot of our children do. They go off to live their lives and to follow their dreams. But we want to invite you with me to pray for this couple as we dedicate Mossy to Jesus. And will you today pray with me and <coughs> if you're able, encourage and support this family in their journey to heaven. If you're willing to do that, church, would you say we do? We do. Thank you very much. We're now going to ask God's blessing upon this precious child. And we will lay hands upon him as a symbol that we want God to lay and place within him his spirit. Let us pray. Father in heaven, what a joy to be with this family. And Lord, I, it hasn't been that long ago that this family was married in this church. And I remember that day so clearly. And now you've blessed them with this son. And Lord, we give you honor and praise because of that. Lord, I pray you bless them. I pray for this married couple, Alyssa and David. Through all the problems of life, and life has those to throw at us, Lord, may they always remember that their first responsibility living on this earth is for their son. Lord, bless them. Anoint them, too, with your spirit. And Lord, bless them down there at the Lord, as they pursue their dreams and their hopes for the future. Father, we want to thank you for Mawson and his precious new life. Lord, we want to dedicate him today. We want you to fill his parents with love, with wisdom. We want you to fill them with all the graces of parents so that they can raise this son to bring honor to you and to be a citizen in your kingdom when Jesus comes again. Lord, we want to dedicate Mawson today. And I lay my hand on him and rub his furry head, Lord. And I do that wanting your spirit to come upon him and to fill him and to bless him. Lord, keep him and watch over him. Protect him. May he be a glory to you and bring joy and honor to his parents. We dedicate Mawson to you this morning. Lord, this is a large family, and we pray that this whole family will be blessed because of this birth, and that you will also bless them as they do their part in loving David, Lissa, and now Mawson. Lord, bless this boy. We offer him to you. He belongs to you, and we do it in Jesus' name. It's always important to remember that uh, Mosin belongs, first of all, to Jesus. The Bible says we're not our own, that we've been bought with a precious price, the blood of Jesus. So always remind him of that, but enjoy the privilege and the joy of being parents of this beautiful child. There's a, a little dedication cert certificate that will remind you of this morning, and I encourage you to remind him that he belongs to Jesus. May God bless you both and your precious family. 